I love working here because I get to interact with people on a daily basis. It's not just about going out and fighting the crime, but it's also about helping people. Being here at an international airport means that essentially I have millions of citizens that I have to keep safe. We have this unique environment where we deal with stakeholders, we deal with the traveling public, you know, and so for me that in itself is a unique experience because I've never before I came here had to handle a call on an airplane. So I think like many of my fellow officers and a lot of people that are already in a service profession, that that call to serve happens when you're really a young child. I mean, it really develops out of you just seeing something wrong and having an innate desire to want to fix it and want to make things right. And as we get older, we try to figure out ways to best put that same desire into a professional career or job. And then beyond that, I said, you know, I'm doing this as a reserve officer and I want to do it as a civilian career and law enforcement was able to open its doors and I was able to successfully become a police officer in Washington State. The, the first most important is the D.B. Cooper hijacking. My group was hired because of that. There was 35 of us, which doubled the size of the department. And that was in uh, November 24th, 1971, when Cooper did the hijacking. The port went into a, a radical hiring process. And the next six months, there were the 35 of us that went to the academy in March of 1972. After D.B. Cooper, they said, you have to have somebody checking the checkpoints. They had the old magnetometers, the, the very first. And to begin with, the airlines had to have somebody there. Well, they had no arrest powers if they found something. And so then they said there has to be a qualified law enforcement officer. The entire aviation industry went to police. Some of them went to city, some of them went to state police. Very few of them formed their own police department. So all of that had to come together rather rapidly because the country had gone through one hijacking and there was more to come, so they had to solve that piece of it. Originally, they were guides, and they were there to really just assist the public. It wasn't a security function at all, and it morphed into that. Well, when we first hire on, the, the mandate from the FAA to the port, all airport operators, was that they provide uh, ground screening. And we were tasked with monitoring that. At the time, there were six checkpoints. Those checkpoints had to be manned 24-7 by us, and we were called provisional officers at the time. We weren't really an officer. Chief Neil Maloney brought the department into the law enforcement world. The port hired him to come in and more or less professionalize the police department, which he did. He started different programs, such as uh, the bomb squad, uh, canine, uh, dive team. He sent uh, an officer to DEA so that we could combat the drugs flowing through the airport. Over the last 22 years, it's exciting that this is our 50th anniversary this year of, of the police department because seeing where we've grown since I first came here to where we are now, it's transformational. When people look at us, I mean, we have people calling us for how we respond to active shooter incidences. How do we work our canines? What is our patrol rifle policy like? People are looking at us as, as leaders in so many different areas. Congratulations. I feel just very honored and very thankful to be able to 
uh, serve this police department. It is, a, it is a phenomenal police department made up of phenomenal and, and extraordinary uh, men and women. The vision I have for the department, or my vision for the department, and how to make it better is that this, this becomes an organization where people love to come to work. They, they want to be here, they, they, they love the team that they're working with, and, and it's just it's a place they want to come to. Another piece is that this is the agency that other that people are knocking the door down because they want to come here. You know, another thing is that as a police department, especially a police department that is policing and providing safety, again, to critically international you know, infrastructure, we need to be a department where our officers are well-trained, uh, they're well equipped, they have the tools, they have the resources that they need, they have the competence that they need to really be able to res respond to any type of law enforcement or public safety incident. And so it's really having a, a staff that is equipped and trained and, and able to, uh, to accomplish that is also part of that uh, vision. Being part of this organization it has been uh, wonderful. I love working with the staff. I love working with the command team. I've had the opportunity to work with so many different people, to learn from so many different people, to be able to share that learning with other people. The Port of Seattle Police Department has so many opportunities. It's a great department to work for in terms of growth and improvement and, um, and movement. There's great opportunity with where we're at and where we've been over the last couple years to really move the department forward. And so there's really opportunity to, to build that type of an organization and to reach that vision.